So Kerry Kelly, R. Kelly's brother, he's been speaking out. But he hasn't been speaking out only on R. Kelly. He has been saying some things that, in my mind, lead me to believe that that particular family has an aura around them, an energy around them. And if this is true, what type of energy has R. Kelly been given out to the world over the course of his career? Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So Gary Kelly, for everybody that don't know, that is R. Kelly, Robert Kelly's brother. He's recently, okay, so for everybody that don't know, their family has a lot of allegations that have been uh, levied against them. And one of the allegations that have been levied against Kerry Kelly is his molestation or his alleged molestation, alleged molestation of his own daughter. And I found something very interesting. So I was reading an, an article in Hot New, Hot New Hip Hop, shout out to HotNewHipHop.com. And in the, I'm have the link in the description, by the way. And in the article, I'm, I'm going to read verbatim something real quick. It says, Carrie Kelly continued to recount the aftermath of the trial, which includes allegations made against him. If you don't know what trial they're talking about, they're talking about the trial uh, that R. Kelly, when he was accused of um, sexual molestation of a minor and urinating on the minor earlier in uh, the 2000s, and then he ended up beating that case. I'll have a little bit more on that in a second. He says, um, that what the article goes to say, Kerry recounted, oh, pardon me, Kerry continued to recount the aftermath of the trial, which includes allegations made against him he was being accused of molesting his own daughter a situation that has enhanced his family difficulties he says he plans to bring the situation to Iyanla fix your life I don't know what that is I Y A N maybe that's an L anyway Lanya Lanla I don't know how to say that Anyway, fix your life. R. Kelly will not appear on the show, however, because he won't admit it. So right here, I take that as Kerry Kelly admits that he molested his own daughter. That's what I take that as. Because they're saying Kerry Kelly is going to be on the show, although R. Kelly won't be on the show because he refuses to admit that he uh, molested any type of ch um, allegations of molestation of a minor. Now, with that being said, it also says here, just going back to the case real quick, it says that uh, he, also, he, being Kerry Kelly, also recounted the conversation that he had after the infamous trial in which R. Kelly's um, was acquitted in 2008. And he's speaking to R. Kelly and he says, uh, well, he's speaking to uh, the show or, you know, the people that were interviewing him. And he says, once he beat that case, I called him and I said, hey, man, you know, God gave you another chance. You know, God gave you another chance. Kerry recalled. According to him, R. Kelly responded with, arro with arrogance. God didn't give me another chance. I gave me another chance. My money gave me another chance. Those are the words that he said to me. And I looked at the phone like. Are you serious? Now, with that being said, this is another problem that we absolutely have as far as celebrities being able to get away with things, or not just celebrities, but people that have money being able to get away with things. Money can 
buy you out of problems. Not all problems. You get a certain amount of opportunities to be in front of the public being accused of something before the public says, oh, I guess you did do it. But yes, money can buy you out of problems. So this is um, odd, and, I, and I'm bringing up this particular uh, story in this, in, in this situation to say that generational curses are real. Families have curses for real. Their family is cursed. This is not a, a, uh, and, and, no, this is an allegedly, allegedly. This is factual. Now, whether somebody sees adults having urges that they can control and molesting children as a, a curse or not, that's up to you. That's after the individual listening that says, oh man, that family's not cursed. They just got a few weird people. Well, their sister was supposed to have molested them. And they had, and R. Kelly, as we all know, have a weird fascination with his own mother. And they had an uncle that also was, it just sounds to me like this particular family, just everyone was sleeping with everyone. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like they had a curse. Kerry Kelly also spoke about his uh, Aaliyah and R. Kelly actually being married when she was 15 and he was 27. I, I don't know what else to tell you. I get it. There are people that think, you know, we didn't want to hang R. Kelly before, but let's hang him now. I say the evidence has always been there. I say that when you have an individual that comes out and it's obvious that they that they have committed certain crimes and it's obvious that there are numerous people that turn the other way, it just comes to a point that you have to say, when is enough enough? When are we going to start heeding the, the obvious warning signs that are present. They said, uh, I keep remembering the DMX story where DMX says he did a song with R. Kelly, which R. Kelly, I mean, he didn't want to do because he said that DMX didn't say his name. And now I go back and I look at all the songs that DMX, I mean, a part of me that R. Kelly actually did do with rappers. Is there a song that he did with rappers and the rapper didn't say their name? I think the rappers actually always say his name in, in their verse. Anyway. So DMX says he went to go speak with R. Kelly. He was not allowed to be on the same floor as R. Kelly or something like that in the studio. And he went to go to the studio where R. Kelly was to speak with R. Kelly. And R. Kelly wouldn't even open up the door. He cracked the door and spoke with him through a crack through the door because R. Kelly allegedly, allegedly had minors in there. So people knew. People knew. So if that DMX story is out there, like DMX put it out, and as you could, as we all know, the, the 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 music industry is done with DMX at this point. If DMX had this situation with him, and that was a song that didn't even come out, what other artists worked with R. Kelly and knew of his his uh? his pastimes, knew of, knew of, I don't even want to call it that, part of me, and knew of his, I, I, I'm not sure what to call it, his deviancies. Who else? They have a situation where, um, uh, what's her name? Keisha Cole, that's her name, Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole said, when, when they were, uh, she was on tour with R. Kelly, they weren't even allowed to be on the same sound stage as him. They weren't even allowed to be on the same floor as him. I believe that if he came uh, down like the hallway and they were like out of their room or something like that at the hotel, they had to go in their rooms. That's crazy. Grown ass adults. When R. Kelly comes by, they have to go into their hotel room and they cannot come out until he goes past, until he leaves. So yeah, um, there has to be people that knew about what was going on. 
and individuals just turn the other way. I'm not trying to, I'm just talking about the people that spoke out on it right now. I'm not trying to like say, you no, know, just spoke about the, the weirdness of it, should I say. I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to call nobody out. Um, also, he just had a, a warehouse where, you know, he had his recording studio at. It was in a commercial district. Um, he just had his warehouse. I think, I, I'm not sure if they, 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 I know they, they gave him a lot of fines, but I'm not sure if they took it from him or not. But they had, he had a warehouse that, that didn't, that wasn't supposed to have residential living quarters. It had residential living quarters. It was, it was, they, they said they, um, people in the area said that there were teens that were being the alleyway waiting to be let in the building now yes people could be exaggerating people exaggerate like hell how do you know that these young girls is teens but let's say they're not exaggerating then that means that these young girls were teens and not teens of the 17 and 18 year old variety teens of the 13 year old wide variety possibly 12 for them to be able to just look at them and know. I'm just saying. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think about this. Leave it leave it down in the uh, the description. Uh, the description. Why do I say that? Leave it down in the comment section. I want to know what y'all guys think about this. The fact that R. Kelly's brother has been accused of molesting his own daughter. The fact that R. Kelly's sister has been accused of having sex with R. Kelly and his brother when they were like 15. The fact that there's allegedly, allegedly, an uncle who used to molest R. Kelly and his brother. The fact that R. Kelly has some kind of weird sexual thing going on with the simple thought of his mother. Does this sound like a family curse? I think this is a family curse. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.